Right, guys, a couple of things first before I continue the episode. Um, last time, you remember, I did most of this um, city here, like most of this level here. Now, between then and now, it's been a couple of days for you, like, episode-wise. For me, it's been a couple of weeks, and I've had nothing but trouble with this game so far. Um, my saves have corrupted, and I've gone and had to complete everything again. So, if I come to the options here, if things are not the same uh, tokens time-wise, um, that'll be why, because my corrupt saves corrupted, so I've had to go back and do things. So this is what it took me the under, it took me 15 minutes to do the undermill entirely, 34 minutes to do new quack, sorry, world quack centers, and 14 minutes for what I'm doing currently. Um, however, my total—I don't know if you can see that. Oh, hang on. Total total is 166. That might have been different. That's only because my uh, saves corrupt and I had to continue um, all on uh, like start from scratch basically. So we're going to continue. Nothing's changed. I've got exactly the same weapons as I had before. So let's press on. Ah, bears! Instantly bears. So what we have to do here, you see, is. Um, grab these tokens because they're tokens and we, we, we want tokens can I not get those Rufus I'm pretty sure you can jump higher there you go that was just because of the way it was angled eh right so as you can probably tell the bridge is up it says um, caution bridge raises no sorry bridge uh, bridge raises no pedestrian access so we can't actually get across there I mean we can go over he here sorry there's a new enemy there if you can see them. They are peacocks! And they launch rockets at you! Like that! But the good news... You can launch them back! <laughs> and as you can probably hear, there's a tweak, baby. I know exactly where that is. But yeah, there's no way across the bridge. So the way you have to solve this puzzle is... You talk to this guy here. Or you used to be able to. Okay, well... In the old version on the Dreamcast, he opened his door and he told you the only way you can get across is if you have a dime for the cab fare. So, you need to come here and talk to this person. Man, you want to shoot some hoops? You got six tries. Get three in and I'll give you a prize. The prize is the dime. And I don't actually remember how to do this. I think what you need to do is carefully align the little spike of the ball to just below the net. Then is it this button? This? This? This button? This button. They get the blue bar just above those grey bars on the side on that wall. And then you should be able to get it in practically every time. Like, uh, so angle it so that it's just below the net like that. And then just about there. No, nope, that bounced off because I got it slightly wrong. But it does work usually. It, you've got to be super careful. It's like the controller is so sensitive. So like, so sensitive. So up here, up here. So let's try about there, but we'll go a bit higher. Go there, in there, there you go. Usually works without fail, it's not too hard, so don't 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 panic. So about there, so just above those grey bars, and in the net, there you go. Not hard to do. But, is he giving me more? There you go. Have a dime! Um, I could have swore that unlocked cheap, I don't remember. Never mind, I'll have to double check that. So that's how you get the dime. Not that hard to do, but before you give it to the taxi man and you go across the, or taxi, taxi duck, and you go across the actual lake or river or whatever it is, I think it's a river, uh, make sure you get your baby. So you need to go there, look. Eh. Queek! Whew. Don't fall in the water, you'll instantly turn to ice, freeze, and die. There's no way around it. It is quite scary sometimes, so climb up here. I do need to go over there and lower the bridge as well. You can't just give him a taxi thing and he'll let you in. You do need to fly over there. And no, you can't get the height just to get across. They've made sure of that. But you can mess up some bears if you wanted. So you push the switch. Sets the bridge down.
one hour later, the bridge is down. <laughs> okay. Um, also, guys, I forgot to actually mention, I might sound different this time round. Maybe clearer, you might not be able to hear PC noise, stuff like that. I don't know. It's, it differs if it depends if you're using headphones or not. I might sound exactly the same. Uh, the reason is I'm no longer using the microphone I used before, so it's a slightly different microphone. So if you're wondering why I sound different, that'll be why. Uh, the diff the mic I'm using is actually on a headset that Meatball bought me. It's a re fairly decent headset. I really do like it. It's powerful for what it is, so... I like it. There you go, the door's open. And then he would have told you you can't go in unless you had a dime. I have a dime, so there you go. That's what would have happened. And it literally just takes you across the bridge and stops. And that was a dime. Now, I don't know what a dime is in American currency. Like, equivalent to English currency. But I'm sure... Wow, okay. Yeah, the tanks do shoot bad guys. Hello. Right. Blast him in the face. Grab these tokens. Be careful with this next bit. This next bit is dangerous. We are going in the sewers. And you can probably hear... There's a lot of crocodiles. Yeah, that's what that sound is, in case you're wondering. Yeah, and if you let a crocodile get near you, it eats your face, which you don't want to do. Oh god, raw sewage. Not nice. So you just kill there. Having one crocodile after you is bad enough. Having two, even worse. Okay, you need to save those. Gee! Woo! He appeared out of nowhere there. Bloody hell. Okie dokie. So, that's them dealt with. Um, and we're doing this, as you can probably hear, for a baby, for a Rico. I don't think I need to worry about any more, but I'll just double check. The reason I'm avoiding the centre is because you actually swim in that. God, he munched you. And it takes 10 HP a time. So, yeah, you swim in the center section. So, if I run in the middle, he'll... He... Oh, no. Yes? Yes? No? I could have swore you swam. That's why I avoided it. Never mind. Unless it's here. Yeah, it's here. Down into the actual dirty water. Camera, please. Do I have a missed token? Yes, I've missed tokens, you see. I don't want to do that. Right. Underwater though, it looks clear enough. So all we need to do is touch that, and it would start, start. You th you'd think drain it away. No, it's filling the sewer with even more pooey water. <laughs> uh, because this is how I thought I would be spending my day, swimming in crap. All right. So all you need to do is wait for the water to get high enough. And uh, if you're wondering how I'm doing that, that's uh, me pressing the strafe buttons. Don't panic. No! Made me sink. And there you go, you can actually get out of the pooey water. I need a proper bath now. That was nasty. And there she is. He is. They are. Virginia. Vagina. However you pronounce it. Push button. Go to here. And then you're at the suit. So that's that segment done. Hello. And if you remember, that was the little manhole cover here. Because we walked around there to get into the sewers. Pro progress. Screw this. Bye bye. Long range shotgun last. Don't you just love the rocket launcher? <laughs> uh, nothing there. I'm just double checking everything. Oh god, if you can probably you can probably already hear her. Her. Blind shot. I got her. Oh god, my frames. God, they're dropping. Bungalow. My frames are really dropping here. Never mind. La 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 la. Nah. Make sure you get yep. I really would need to work on that. Okay, I know there's a bungalow baby there. I just want to uh, come through here. And check. Yep. See, that's what I was looking for before. I don't want to forget that token. That token is the one that spent me years in my childhood searching for it. 
Right, so it shouldn't be too long until I get all the tokens, fingers crossed, because I don't want to have to go traipsing through this level. Now what you need to do here is you jump on the back of a truck and it takes you across the bridge and then you jump on the other side and it takes you the other way. If you mess it up, you die. It's as simple as that. <laughs> I'm not very good with jumping in this game, I really am not. Uh, I might actually try using Bungalow for the um, train thing that we had before. And the fact that I've died is sort of annoying because that actually means I've got to kill all the enemies again. Sort of. Come on, I want Nuka Cola. Do -do -do. Come on, hurry up. I don't know why my frames are like tanking here. Ah! It saved my bacon there. There's got to be something that my um, thing isn't agreeing with the game. I look down. Come on, come on, come on. Because the baby is just there. But what you need to do is you jump on, you go over there, and then you come all the way back. <sighs> and then you can get those tokens there as well. On we get. Oh, uh, god damn it. I don't know why you won't jump up there. Nah, don't hit me! You naughty thing. Have I got one behind me now? I think I do. Yeah, I did. Can I get... No. Gosh, dang it. I don't know how to get up there. I, you can just jump straight off this, but I don't know why it's so difficult. Like, it, I'm just not getting the height that I need. It's kind of annoying, really. If you do manage to survive, you can get off here and then go back. Like, if you do survive, don't panic, it's not the end of the world. Uh, eh. I'm just gonna hang around now, ugh. Here we are. More trucks. More trucks to try and kill myself with. It is sort of annoying. They, like, I push the button to get the maximum high, and it just doesn't do it for some reason. Hello! Oh, I could just do that. Crap. Well, there's got to be tokens on the other bridge, right? Right? Right, guys? No. Maybe that bridge is... Yeah, we're up. there isn't tokens. I was just going to the wrong bridge. Eh. Thank you. Yeah. So you can't get to that other one because it's too high. That's why. Okay. Mystery solved. I think it's down here now. Now comes the next part of the puzzle. This is quite a tricky one, this is. This one might have a lot of you miss what you're supposed to do. There. You can go away. Uh, you can certainly go away. Oh my. No, no. No. Thank you. Eat that. Cheers. Love you. I just shot my bloody friend. My baby. This is ice. You will slide. Be careful how you run. Now, there isn't the height here to get this baby. And for the longest of time, I had no idea on what to do. And back when I was playing this as a kid, the internet wasn't really much of a thing. You couldn't just look it up. What you actually have to do... Swap this. Swap, swap to your rocket launch. You turn around, face the building, look up. You see? You see how e easy that is to miss? You have to go and shoot that. Because if you're not actually looking around and you don't see that up there, you won't know that you have to actually shoot that. And what that does is that knocks that over, which has some water in, and then the water appears out of the ether and freezes to ice, which of course then gives you the height to save little Catherine here. Right, so I think that's the majority of the babies through this area. There are a couple more. Obviously, there's um, one that you get for I'll show you. I won't. I won't tell you. I'll show you. But I'll just double check in about tokens. So there's 91 tokens. I know where a few more are. So it's not the end. 
what I'm going to do is actually go Rico here. And there is something I can do with him. If you can hear the train, if you if, if you recall the train from previous. Yeah, we're about to go to the train station. Because there's my Rico baby that I need. Carlos. And I think, uh, I think there are still some tokens that I need from doing the whole train jumpy thing. So there is that still to do. But if I go up there, that is where uh, the final Rufus baby was. And if you remember at the very beginning of the episode, um, you had to chase a train down that had your baby on. So that will be that train. So we've kind of come full circle. So that'll be your final baby. And the tokens, I do believe, are actually on the tram jump that I need. Because I need six. Probably not all of them on there. I don't recall there being six tokens. But we'll see. Ooh, wrong way. There could actually be some up here. I'm thinking there's only about three on there. So if there's got to be some here. No. Oh, God, there's a bloody Rufus there. There's your baby. And there's nothing in there. So, okay. I don't know where the other tokens are. There's Jonathan. Hmm. I'm, I don't recall there being six tokens there. Uh-oh. Run. Sorry, that train behind me made me think I was moving. Uh, physics. So what you can do here is, now you've got this open, I run all the way back, I'm going to grab Bungalow, come back, and then I'm going to go on and try and do the train puzzle. It will take a little while for me to finish it. I am terrible at it. Okay, so that's the exit to the level, so we can get out. Um, so I'm going to run through here again. And what you do is you grab your bungalow from over where you, over that bridge there. Come down here. And then we go down here. To my knowledge, uh, it takes you all the way round and back up again. Just be careful when you do this. You, you, you could get absolutely smacked in the face by... Uh, this. This will kill you if this smacks you back in the face. Not kidding. Over there is the mini game for Chang. But don't worry, we will be doing that before I exit. But I'll have like a separate episode maybe because they are quite lengthy. And I will wait for the next train. So I am not risking that because you only get three carriages. The thing is, doing it this way, uh, you can actually... Um, like if you die... The problem you're going to have is you'll spawn all the way back where you were. So it's a pain in the bum to do, but I do recommend using Bungalow for those reasons. Oh. Sorry if I'm not saying much. I'm just concentrating on not dying here. I think that was it for tokens, though, sadly. Yeah, careful of that. That will that will mess you up that bit. Okay, and that is literally where you get off because there isn't anything further around that I'm a know of. No, because it will just take you around constantly then. So yeah, that was the train done. So I've got the tokens from there, meaning I need three more. So I'm now going to take the time to go and find where they are. I really do not know where they could be because, as far as I'm aware, I got everything. I might have missed some from uh, that I had from a previous episode, but I'll have a quick look for them through the through the entire level. I'll go to the beginning and come back through and see if I can spot them. And if I do, I will obviously jump back. Okay, guys, I just got an extra token here, so there could there's one and one. Yeah, there you go. They were there. They were in the sewers all along. All right. Uh, well, unfortunately, the only way out of the sewers, as you're well aware, is this damn switch. So I'll see you back for where the exit is. Now we have com finally completed a level while actually playing it, which is cool. I like that. I don't have to actually come back to this one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I give you Lower East Quack. Thank you all very much for watching. And I'll catch you next time.
for the next episode of Fur Fighters where we will take on the Quackenheim Museum. Take care everyone and goodbye. Glory's Quack complete. Time taken 40 minutes. Kills 90. Tokens 100. Babies 11. Hell yeah!